Good morning, and you are joining us in Western Supermare, where we are going for our, I think, ten pound ninety nine breakfast before we head off to Breen for our second day at the theme park. Yeah, ten ninety nine. It's got to get money's worth. Yeah, because you two eat free. We're at Brewers Fair for a buffet-style breakfast. It's all you can eat. Children do eat free with a paying adult. I think it's two children per adult, so it's a bit of a bargain. Got enough bacon there, Lila. I didn't mean to. Nice selection. Do you want my peanut butter? It'd be nice peanut butter. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who haven't been before, my name's Anna, and this is More Life Adventures. And today we are at Breen Theme Park. It's our second day here. We've arrived at opening time, and it's really quiet. So I'm here with my daughter Lila and her friend, and I think they've just got on that somewhere. Um, yeah, we came yesterday and they were the last ones allowed on Bulldog but when it came to it there wasn't actually enough room the guy had miscalculated um, so they missed out and he felt really bad so we've come to this end of the park to get kind of a longer waiting rides done first not quite sure if that's running yet they seem to be doing something to the track and we've got Astra Storm over there brilliant dark ride um, doesn't seem to be open yet either but we'll be here for when it does can't actually see them oh yeah hi we've literally just had breakfast as well so hope it doesn't come back up There's Lila going up on that one. I don't know why I didn't go on this one yesterday. I think it's quite spinny. Okay, so the girls have gone on a few rides. Um, so I thought I'd do a little tour around as I don't have a wristband today. So just behind me there's an entrance to the park. It's not the main one that opens up a little bit later during the day. You've got the Pony Express just there. That's got a maximum height to it and um, mine is now too big to ride it. And just opposite me, I don't know the name of this one, but it's like the chair of planes. Lila doesn't go on that one because it makes her dizzy. So yeah, Pony Express. I love that ride. That was the first ride that Lila ever went on here. So yeah, a bit later on during the day, like the park opened at 11 today. It does change times depending on what colour day it is. So on a blue day, it's 11 to 7. Um, yeah, this one opens up a little bit later. So not quite so busy at this one. And then... It's a bit windy and I don't have my microphone. So just behind me, you've got the go-karts there. Sorry, it's extremely close up on my face. Um, they are an extra charge, I'm not sure how much. Or well, you can buy, I think it's like the mega day out band where you get a go included in that. So, um, but that's not included in any of the other wristbands, like the mega one. And there's a new ride this season. So runaway train. Um, 
it's like a little tiny roller coaster. Got some miniature teacups. You got factory over there. I'm sure that used to be oh X X factory. I was gonna say I'm sure it used to be called something else. Uppy downy. Some games. Your park information desk. Your first aid point. Lost children. General inquiries. Um, yeah, got some games here. To be fair, the games don't really seem like you know you have some and they just like there's no chance of winning. We've won twice yesterday and got a giant teddy. And I've seen quite a few people walking around with them, so they're not really a massive rip-off, which is good. Hot fresh donuts, so it's definitely gonna go there in a minute. So we got the ultimate there, that's a super fast spinny round ride. Um, and the dodgems over there. See the queues are picking up. It's getting busier. You've got two main food booths. Actually, you've got three, but one always seems to be closed at the moment. So there's two in the park, a fish and chips and chicken, and there's a burger one just over there. So prices are what I call like theme park prices. However, what we usually do is get a children's meal. And I think over at the burger one, you can get a children's meal for a fiver, which includes a drink. And the burgers are the same size anyway, so keeps it more like a cheap day out. The crazy boats over there. So they're really only open in the kind of height of summer season. I know we've been before in April and they're not usually open. I don't know that's the same every year. Ah, the tidal wave. I can see Lila and her friend just going up there. She can't see me, just waving. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's spotting me. So tidal wave is a great ride. Um, but you will get wet on it. We have got ponchos in the car and I see they're not wearing their ponchos. You've got lots of these tiny little rides. So you can see here the different um, bands. So when Lila was very little, you used to get like a junior wristband because she wouldn't do the bigger rides. And of course it depends on the height, mega wristband. So if you've got little ones, this is a really lovely park as well because they've got so many tiny rides. There's another one there which Lila used to love. Oh, I'll go and give you a useful tip in a minute. There's the burger grill as well. So we quite often get lunch from there. Um, and they do a nice Costa coffee, which I'm gonna get with my donuts in a minute. Some more of the games here. So we won a sumo and a giant seagull yesterday. There we go. So you've got the wipeout over there. So this is the main entrance. The gates there um, open at 11 everyone bundles in and goes straight to these two points here to buy their tickets or collect their wristbands because even if you buy online you've got to come in and collect your wristbands but top tip as soon as those gates open walk through this like half so yeah as soon as the gates open walk down here go straight to this one over here because it'll be open as well and you'll cut the massive line and no one cottons onto that so yeah you've got the wipe out there all of the rides so you don't have to buy a wristband you can just walk into the park and like pay as you go but it would be pricey if you want to do a few rides it's definitely worth in investing in a wristband got tara castle and this is lila's favorite i love this ride too um i think it's my most watched video on my youtube channel i think it's had about fifty-six thousand views on my last look that might be an exaggeration, but it's got a fair few. You got the twister here. Another small ride. Just to mention about the wristbands, you do get a 10% discount if you buy it online in advance. So my hair's going my mouth. Um, or if you turn up on the day, you can, if you turn up after three o'clock, you get 10 pound off. So yesterday I got a wristband after three for like 23 pounds. Um, and I got my money's worth. I think a mega wristband is about £42 and that will give you three days in the park so if you want to combine it with a bit of a holiday that's what we've always done and cheap cheerful holiday especially good if your kids like fair rides and beaches as well because it's right by like, um, a load of different beaches really you're not far from Western Supermare it's really about a 14 minute drive this morning got the pier there some beautiful beaches of course in Bream we've got some wonderful beaches so there's a lot to do here so I've walked around the other side of the water ride. You've got trampolines there. Again, they've got a maximum height restriction. Caterpillar coaster, Lila loved that when she was smaller. 
Disco fever. I don't think the girls have been on that one. Usually at the end of like the half term or summer holidays, um, they have firework displays here. Me and I have been to one once when we come and stayed in our van. Um, and it was absolutely fantastic actually. So really good, really good display. Um, yeah, and the park stays open a little bit later. So you've got the Astra Storm there. That's my favorite ride. It's like an indoor dark ride roller coaster across between uh, Vogel Rock and Space Mountain if you put on either of those really like it I think it originated from Blackpool actually so yeah an oldie but goodie so this is what I call like the newer area of the park you've got the Bulldog roller coaster they say it's a new one but actually it's just sort of been painted and it's had its name changed years ago it used to sort of be in that area of the park um, yeah but it's been rebranded I think anyway, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will. The jet spin over there, that's not open this time, which is a shame because that's a good ride. Yeah, you've got the pirate ship, that's been here a couple of years now. You've got the extreme, I think it's called extreme. I just realised this one missing. There used to be a massive ride over there and it was called G-Force. It was called G-Force or it might have been called something else. And it was like the long arm with the two seats on either end. And that's cool. I just realised, that's a shame. Magic Mouse, always a popular coaster. Um, yeah, the pirate ship, another little ride there. So most of these rides are about three tokens ago. Um, indoor roller coaster I think is four, the dodgems are three. So you know how expensive it is if you go into, say, a travelling fair. You're going to get your money's worth, you know, £42 for three days and you can go on as many rides as you want. It's a bargain. As I say, it is, uh, I think, the UK's only free theme park. You can just come in and walk around. Yeah. yeah, so currently, sort of outdoors in the theme park a bit. You've got two places to eat. I'll go and show you some other places, just sort of around, around to the outside and through the arcade. So yeah, here's the board with all the different prices on and um, for the different wristbands and different opening times. But to be honest, you're better. you can probably see it clearer on the website. So I've just come outside of the theme park um, and behind me, we've got somewhere called the Pavilion. We've been here before and that's been open and we've had loaded fries and Actually, I don't really had loads of fries. We had like with pasta or something, but it was really nice. A big food place, but it's not been open for the two days that we've been here, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So over there, you've got the tavern. I'll walk through there in a minute, and you've got a Costa coffee shop just there. They're all dog friendly, so Breen is dog friendly. Theme park is as well. You've got the ice cream parlor. There was a big queue there. Yeah, a big queue there yesterday, but not today. Oh, probably because it's closed. So you've got the car park just over there, £4.50, um, there's only one tariff and that's for all day parking up until midnight so that's not too bad. And there you've got Breen Splash, it's a water park, it's actually really good, it's got some good slides and things, um, that's separate from the theme park so you have to book online for that. And Breen Play which is a big stuff play area, not been in there for years though. So just outside you've got another food place there, they do burger and chips um, and loaded fries as well, we've eaten from there, it's quite nice. I'm trying to remember what days it is, so I might get this wrong, but I think at least once a week there is a big market here as well. If you look on some of our earlier vlogs, you can see us when we've gone to the market. And it's really good, we've had some bargains there, and you get more like food places and sweet places too. Just going to walk a little bit further down, because I can't remember what's down here. They've got a cash machine just there. So just behind me, there's an entrance just next to the burger and chip van. Um, there's part of, I think it's the Unity Farm Resort, so there's a big caravan park, we've stayed there before, we've stayed in the statics and um, we've got our own van there, it's really good, it has good entertainment in the evening, um, have a look online, they do some really good deals, so great place to stay, it's a walking distance to the park and I think you used to be able to get a discount as well, um, yeah, so worth checking out. So this is just the other side of the tavern, there's another entrance here. 
and there's the sweet shop which is absolutely amazing but me and Lila absolutely went to spend a fortune well I say me and Lila Lila chose the sweets and I had to pay for them um, absolute fortune on the pick and mix which then all fell out on the log flume you got golf over there not sure if you can get that included on a wristband or not they're doing this thing now I think it's called the mega day out or the mega band um, but I'm sure they have info online Oh, they do have a hair salon as well there. And I know my mum, my nieces and Lila have all gone in and had their hair cut in there before. The lady who runs it is really nice and um, yeah, really reasonable priced as well. So I'm going to walk through the tavern. Hello, hello, hello. Hello there. So yeah, they've obviously got some entertainment about to start in there, so um, they also do food and drinks, they do a nice breakfast in there from what I can remember. They've got this, I think this is called the bucket and spade, um, but the bar bit isn't open. So yeah, you've got the main area there, bucket and spade, it's not open at the moment, but it's got a nice indoor seating area, like if it's raining or it's cold outside. Um, it's nice to just come and sit in here, which I might do in a minute. So yeah, you've got the arcade, um, you got Paul there, the prize shop over there. So to the left, that's where the Pony Express was. And as I walk back through here, you're back in the theme park. Well, either door, you're back in the theme park. But this way will bring you out to the Dodgems, which is where I'm going to meet the girls. They've gone to get changed. So that's a little tour of green. I'm gonna go and get some hot donuts and a coffee now. Um, I might save some for the girls, but maybe not. Okay, so I've got the Biscoff donuts. I've come and sat inside. Yeah, donuts were five pounds for four, that's with the topping, or three fifty for four just with the sugar topping. But I had to go for the Biscoff. How are those donuts? They were actually <laughs> Is this healthy? Yeah, oh, extremely okay. healthy. Can I get some more then? No, it's not. Well, but it's all right because I've got a diet coke. <laughs> I think you've got enough. Well, it's a bit too late. I forgot to end the vlog, so just enjoy this footage of Lila and our new addition, Steve. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Breen. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.